Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Daniel Berry from ExoticCarTrader.com. I'm the sales manager here, and today I have another piece of inventory I'd love to show you guys. This here is a 1973 Ford Bronco. It's a full frame off restoration, and it was built by Nick's Tricks up in North Carolina. If you're not familiar with them, you should take a look at some of their work because they specialize in early Bronco restorations, and they do an amazing job. I've seen a lot of Bronco builds, and I was very impressed with the quality and craftsmanship on this one. Now this one is sold and it is heading out to California, but we still do have it in our possession and we wanted to go over it with you and show you a little bit of what's done on it, what's unique and some ideas that you might have for your own build. Or if you're looking for Broncos, maybe it'll be an idea of something that you can add on when you already purchased one. Like I said, this is a 73. It was a full frame off restoration. The body was in kind of rough shape. It was completely uh, chemical stripped down to the metal. And it was repainted. Now this is a Buckingham Blue Metallic is the name of the paint on this. Almost looks a little black in some darker areas. But once you get it out in the light here, you'll see the metallic shines very nicely and, and the blue really does pop. Now it's also accented with a really cool sand metallic beige color that is uh, done here on the top and it's also done on a couple different accent spots in the interior. Now when I googled this color when I first looked at it, I believe it's an Arizona sand beige metallic is the name of it. I'll get that in the comments for you but what it is is it kind of looks like a, a light gold in the photos but when you get here it's a dark uh, almost brown tint and it comes out really nicely. I'd love to see a build done on the full body in that color because I think it would be a really cool color I haven't seen done yet. Now, as far as, as the build goes, they did uh, a lot of very nice craftsmanship to keep the body looking somewhat original while adding some modern flares to it. Obviously, all these Broncos now have, you know, your, your fender flares, which aren't metal, but these ones are riveted on with these, these metal rivets, and they have the body lifts and suspension lifts done to them to give them that big, beefy look. Now, this is a two-inch body lift, it's a three and a half inch suspension lift and it's sitting here on 35 inch uh, Toyo tires. And we have some 15 inch Mickey Thompson wheels that are uh, on it. Now you can't see behind the wheels, but it's got four wheel disc brakes, obviously power brakes, power steering. Uh, so it handles very nicely. You're able to stop very easily. But what really is a huge selling point on this truck is the motor in it. Now I've done coyote swapped ones rebuilt 302, even 351s, just everything. Now this is a first for, for me on this one. This is a uh, 408 cubic inch Anderson built motor. You'll go ahead and see the Anderson performance stamp right on the, on the back here on the firewall. So you already know the specs on it, which is I think a really cool idea that some motor builders should be doing if they aren't already by having it stamped here on the firewall so you can see exactly the setup on it, uh, the serial number, you can see everything about it, what kind of cams in it, how many cubic inches. Now it's got some pretty intense setup as far as the heads go on it. It's got stainless headers that are connected to a custom stainless steel exhaust. So it's got a very deep, aggressive sound to it. Performance wise, it's got electronic fuel injection, which is a mass flow EFI setup. I really like that. Usually I've had a couple like the Holly Snapper and different uh, EFI setups that I didn't really care for. This one I've had nothing but, you know, good things happen with it. It runs very nicely. It starts up very easily. It doesn't ever short when you get on the gas where it's not getting enough fuel to it or anything like that. I haven't had any issues with vacuum lines or anything. So overall the motor setup is amazing on it. It's got this huge aluminum radiator here that, that keeps it very cool, uh, great temperature. Obviously you can see right on it that it's, it's custom built here by Nick's Tricks. There's a couple of small stamps like this that are shown on here. One of them being on the side that I didn't touch on yet was, was this custom stamp that they have for the Bronco logo. Now, the weird thing with that is usually they have the metal logo on here and I, I usually don't care for like a sticker or vinyl or paint uh, for the logo, but that one actually seems to fit very nicely on it and it's cleared over, so it, it's on there for good. And I actually kind of like the look of it. It's a little bit different. I would think on paper it would almost sound a little cheap or cheesy, but it doesn't do that for me. It looks very nice. I love driving this car because of the performance aspect on it. It makes really good power. It sounds excellent with that custom fabricated exhaust like I was talking about. And this, this motor here is actually hooked up to a C4 three-speed transmission. Now the transmission 
is is very smooth, it shifts very nicely. I think it's a great transmission for this truck. A lot of them are obviously manual. Now this one isn't, but it, it definitely gives you the, uh, the ease to drive it with the comfort and it has AC set up on it. You'll see the vintage air switches here on the interior once we get inside. But the, the C4 is a great transmission for it. And uh, if you are someone that doesn't know how to drive a clutch or maybe you wanted your wife or children or whoever to drive it that's not as, maybe as comfortable with a, you know, a bulky stick shift, this is a great transmission and great setup. I would definitely do business with Anderson Performance again if I have the opportunity because I'm really loving the setup on this truck right now. If you hop inside, this is a fully custom built interior on this thing. You'll see that some of the top color actually carries over to the door panels and a few other small accents like the center console, which I really like. Now, there's nothing stock about this interior when you, when you really you know, sit down and look at it. You got six way power uh, seats in here. They are almost identical, if not, the same setup that you'd have in the front seats of a uh, older model 5 Series BMW. They, the steering wheel is wrapped in leather to match. Very beautiful steering wheel with the flat bottom, almost kind of a racing style. And once you come in here, you'll see nothing, uh, nothing is shorted when it comes to customization. Even the small details of the hand crank uh, windows right here, you'll see they have just beautiful detail on them. They're, they're you know, not looking stock whatsoever. And my favorite part of the, the customization on here is actually the dash. Now the dash has somewhat of a original look to it, but some of the things like the speaker placement, the AC vent placement, um, and even the ignition are all very nice upgrades and very tastefully modded. And I've, uh, I've really liked the setup of it and it's very cleanly done. Everything's fully functioning on here, the headlights, the AC blasts nice and cold, the, you know, the gauges all work great, which you don't always get with a classic car, but when you're spending almost six figures on a car, you definitely want it to work, and this one definitely does. They have a cool little placement here uh, for the antenna, so that's kind of out of the way and hidden, and it's almost hidden by this custom-built roll cage. Now, the roll cage is a big thing a lot of people don't think about because most of them have them in there, obviously, for safety. Um, but this one is very nicely fabricated. There's actually some photos of it being built and I really love the, the handles that they put here. A lot of people don't take the doors off these Broncos, but you could if you really want to. And the fact that it's got the speaker set up here on the dashboard, it's got the handles to hold on to. It, it really gives it a versatile, you know, feeling where you can kind of have the doors off and be comfortable or, you know, it just looks cool overall. And everything on here has some power features to it, whether it's the, the mirror being power or even some really cool things that they did with electronics being the rear wipers. When I first got on the truck and I hit the wipers, all I could do was hear the, the back moving. So I turned around and looked and realized there's actually a wiper motor on the back of this hard top, which I've never seen before. I thought it was a really cool accent piece. Obviously the front wipers work as well, but it's small details like that that really put these builds at the next level. Inside, it has a kind of standard center console for these aftermarket Broncos where you can hide the head unit for the, for the radio and you can open it up. I've been talking all of this stuff about the drivetrain, the motor and everything, but you guys haven't heard it yet, so let's fire this thing up. So this is obviously full American muscle and you can hear it. They have a really nice uh, custom exhaust setup coming up the sides here. And if you crouch down, you'll see beautiful welds. It's just very polished kind of industrial look. Uh, everything is very nicely done on it. You'll see when you get under here, how clean the undercarriage looks. The frame is just as clean as the, the rest of the body. And when they did take the body apart, they did do a full line X underneath the, the truck and on the interior of the truck just to keep it from rusting. Now in the back setup, you'll see what I was talking about here with the wiper motors. It's just a really cool build and there's a lot of small detail that went into it. I'm very happy to be able to, to, be able to sell this truck and I'm hoping to get more of Nick's Tricks builds in the future. If you have a Bronco that you're looking for, or if you have any questions on this one or any others that we have, check us out at exoticcartrader.com. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. We'll be happy to answer them. And we're looking forward to doing more videos in the future. 
Thank you guys so much and have a great rest of your day.